When working with mechanical or plumbing systems, Open Buildings Designer speeds up our workflow by delivering not only generic catalogs, but also catalogs for popular manufacturers. In this video, we will go over how to update existing catalogs or how to create a new one. Once we select the placement tool, we can scroll down to the parameter section where we are able to see a list of manufacturers. After we select the catalog, we will have the option to choose the appropriate catalog items for a given diameter. To do this, we expand the drop-down menu and select Manufacturer Catalog. This opens a dialog box which displays all the catalog items available for this particular manufacturer. Here we see a list of pipes of various diameters and material properties. However, we are unable to make any modification to this list or make new entries. This is because all this information is stored in an MDB file in our dataset folder. To find this file, we must open our dataset folder and then navigate to data group catalogs, then plumbing lib. In this folder, we have a series of delivered MDB files corresponding to the ones we see in OBD. The files are opened in Microsoft Access by default. Once we open an MDB file, we see that the tables have been created for pipes, elbows, fittings, etc. If we select pipe, we can then see all pipes which belong to this manufacturer. We can also see that the items listed here are the same as the ones we have seen before in the Manufacturer Catalog dialog box. Should the need arise, we have the ability to add new entries to this list. For example, in a scenario where a manufacturer has released a new product and we would like to incorporate it into our dataset. If we do so, we must remember to also add the corresponding fittings. For example, if we add a custom pipe entry of a certain material and diameter, we must also create any elbows, transitions, valves, etc., which correspond to this new pipe we may have added. If we do not, then the program may try to use other default items which may not accurately represent our design. So, what if we do not have Microsoft Access on our computer? Well, we can still make such changes by exporting the Manufacturer Catalog dialog box to a CSV file. To do this, we must use the export to CSV wizard included in the Manufacturer Catalog dialog box. Once the file is exported, we can select Explore folder to see that the file has been created in the same directory as the MDB file. We can also open the CSV directly from the export wizard. We see that the CSV file opens in Excel and that the only elements which were exported were the ones from the Manufacturer Catalog dialog box. In this example, we only see the pipes and not the elbows or other fittings. If we wanted to edit the elbows and fittings, we would have to create and edit a CSV file for each of those elements. Once we are done making changes in the CSV file, all we have to do is save the file and then select Import. To import the changes. After the changes are imported, we select Refresh to have the changes show up in our database. This dialog box also gives us the ability to group elements by their properties. For example, if we drag the diameter column into the header, then we can see that all of the elements have been grouped by their respective diameter. We can also group the elements by material or any other property if we choose to. By selecting an element and clicking OK, we can transition directly to modeling with that element. All of the parameters for the pipe that we model come directly from the MDB file. Let's take another look at our MDB file and the various parameters. Here we can see that the catalog defines parameters such as the ID, product code, the main diameter, the material, outer diameter, radius, and end type, among other things. The end type determines the end connection for pipes and fittings. For example, if we select the pipe tool and change the connection end type to FL-10 at both ends, then we will see that the pipe will have flanges of 10 millimeter length at both ends.
We can navigate to the help documentation from the drop down menu next to the end type property field. Here we have a description of all the pipe and plumbing cap properties, which can be helpful in understanding what each property is responsible for. Here we see that we must type in FL dash and a numeric value to create a flange, M dash and a numeric value to create a male connection, and FE dash and a numeric value to create a female connection. Let's take a quick look at male and female connections. For this, let's quickly place an elbow and have a look at its properties. We can see here that by default, the elbow does not have an end type defined. If we go into the properties, we can change the first end type to be M-5, which will create a male connection, and the second end type to be FE-5 to be a female connection. The value of 5 denotes that the diameter will be decreased by 5 mm for the male connection and increased by 5 mm for the female connection. We must also remember to set a connection length for both ends. A setting of 15 will make the length of both the male and female connection be 15 millimeters. We can also make changes to the properties directly in view 8 which opened. We can now observe the visual effect of creating a male and female connection. Of course, this sort of data customization can be defined in the MDB file. Before we proceed with creating a new MDB file, Let's take some time to go over the connection between the MDB file itself and Open Buildings Designer. It is important to understand how the program identifies a particular MDB file. How does the program know how to link all the properties defined in the MDB file, such as the code or the main diameter, to the data group properties within Open Buildings Designer? Well, the file that is responsible for this connection is the XML file, which is stored in the same location as the MDB file. Let's open this file and see how the program and the database are linked. So, as an example, here we see that for a catalog type called BMP underscore straight pipe, in the property definition, the property called properties code should match a value called code in the database called code. Let me bring up the property definition editor from OBD to better show how this works. We can see that the XML file is referring to a property definition called custom param BMP pipe. It then links a particular property, in this case, a property called pipe underscore OD underscore M to a value listed in the database under the pipe underscore OD underscore M column heading. Now, multiple tables within a single MDB file can have a column heading of the same name. For example, the pipe ODM heading in the pipe table is also used in other tables as well, such as the elbow table, the cap table, and multiple others as well. So how does the program know which table it should go into to find the appropriate values? Well, here we see that, first of all, it should look inside an MDB file called vic data files underscore si dot MDB. Then it should look for a table called pipe. The section below determines which properties should show up as columns when accessing the manufacturer catalog dialog box shown before. Finally, we can begin to see how each section of the XML file links OBD to the various tables in the MDB file. So now that we understand how all of this works, let's try making a new database. One of the ways we can do this is by duplicating and renaming an existing database and XML file. Once we have both of these files created, we can open them up side by side and begin to make some changes. One of the first things we must do is to point our XML file to the appropriate MDB file.
As a test, I will remove all the entries and create some custom ones. I have created here three custom elbows as well as pipes. I have deleted all the other items just to do a functionality check on just these two items. Let's save both of these and open up our software and place a pipe with elbows. Here we can see that the properties which were defined are automatically being used once we select the appropriate catalog item. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.